Hello everyone, welcome to Out of Spec Testing. I'm Ryan and I'm going to go ahead and just start this charging test in case you wanted to follow along for whatever reason, but I'll be discussing the results while that video is running. This is the Chevy Blazer EV all-wheel drive. This is a mid-size SUV, a little bit bigger than the Chevy Equinox, and of course, a little bit more expensive. However, it does have the same exact about 85 kilowatt hour battery as the Equinox, and unfortunately, the charging on both of these cars are just not that impressive. It has a quoted peak charging speed of 150 kilowatts, and we saw a peak of 155. Now, I think it's super tempting to compare this with the likes of the Tesla Model Y or the Kia EV6 or Volkswagen ID4. However, these cars are considerably smaller. They're in a smaller class as this vehicle. It's not completely fair to compare them. I think the reality is, though, a lot of people will be cross-shopping those vehicles. However, I think the most fitting comparison comes from GM itself with the Cadillac Lyric. The Blazer we had was well into the $50,000 MSRP, and the Lyric starts from 58.5. That car comes with a larger 100 kilowatt hour battery and is rated for 326 miles of range and peak charging speeds of 190 kilowatts. Those are considerable improvements, and although you're uh, giving up all-wheel drive, you could add that back for another $3,500. And of course, this is before even mentioning that the Cadillac is, of course, more luxurious with nicer materials, better fit and finish, and of course, a, fit more, a better dealership experience. Something I do want to mention in this specific charging test that I, is that we're seeing this charging pretty poorly. Right now, I'm going to show you the charging speeds uh, what, of what we saw, and now I'm going to overlay the peak charging speeds obtained from charging from 10 to 80%, as well as a few other charging sessions. There's an absolutely massive gap between what we saw charging from 0 to 100% and what the car can actually do. My initial thought that this was that this is just thermal throttling, except... Tom Mulogany from State of Charge did a charging test on the Chevy Equinox, and he found an almost identical charging curve. And again, it has the same exact battery. It's really weird stuff, but I think this is typical behavior. I'd like to make a few comments here. And first, our other charging test graph, which will show range added versus time, will be using time from the 0 to 100 test so that it actually represents what you would see. However, for the rest of this, while we're talking about this charging curve, I'm going to be focusing on the theoretical maximum as we always do. Even still, this isn't that impressive. 150 kilowatts is not that fast, especially for a bigger crossover SUV that does not have the best efficiency and has a relatively large battery. We see the, the vehicle start throttling around 30%, and it's under 100 kilowatts by just about 62% state of charge. And with that, it looks like we're just finishing up our charging video there. Now, I know earlier I said it's not completely fair to compare this larger Chevy Blazer EV with the likes of a Volkswagen ID4 or a Kia EV6 or a Nissan Aria. I'm going to do it anyway. So I'd like to point out that this was not the worst charging crossover-ish SUV thing that we've ever tested. We can see that the Polestar 2 performance as well as the Nissan Aria are worse at charging at points, if only marginally. They do all seem to converge at higher states of charge, and there are, of course, better charging vehicles. The Volkswagen ID4 just seems like a better version of a very, the very same curve. The Mercedes EQE SUV is a big improvement in all senses, and of course if we take a look at an eGMP vehicle such as a Kia EV6, it just blows it out of the water. Next, let's take a look at range added versus time. This is my favorite chart because this is what you're going to see in the real world. It is a combination of both charging speed and efficiency, and you can see the Blazer is just not that great. In fact, there's a period of time where the Blazer is one of the worst charging vehicles we've tested. If you ignore the Fiat 500e, which is a city car, and the Chevy Bolt, which is the Chevy Bolt, there's a period of time where it was the worst charging vehicle we've tested. 
Part of this is because we're using that real world 0 to 100% charging test, and it does not match the theoretical maximum. You guys all remember on that charging test that difference between what we saw in the charging curve and then the theoretical maximum? Yeah, we're starting to see that here. Especially in that 15 to 30-ish minute time window, you can see it's just charging quite slowly. I would like to point out, while this is definitely slow, it's not unusable by any means. It's way better than a Chevy Bolt, but I guess that's a really low bar as well. I think the reality is this is just not that great of a charging performance. It's nothing particularly egregious, it's just not fast. That's pretty much all I have for you guys on this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm looking forward to reading all your comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.